What's up, guys and girls? Uh, thank you for tuning in to our last episode. I'm Ray, and I'm with my trusted partner in crime, Jesse Akister, aka Gigantic Jesse. <laughs> First question is what we did last week. In the last week. For the last week of yeah. our 12 week challenge. Challenge, yeah. Well, it was more of a challenge for me, not for her so much. She didn't have to make too many changes in her life, but <laughs> sure. let's just keep that for another day. <laughs> sure, I didn't. <laughs> so, last week for me was, it was pretty fun. I think uh, my body had kind of gotten accustomed to. Um, the food, eating, it had become a fat burning machine. So the last week was really good for me. Like I didn't expect the amount of weight I lost in the last week. I was sitting at around 92.5, 92.4 and um, going into the last week and I didn't expect to be on the dot 90. But I guess my body was just accustomed with a little bit more intense workouts, a little bit more cardio, cutting food a little bit harder and doing like a little bit of a water cut, what's well, like a fake water cut, um, I think I achieved what I had to achieve. <laughs> really? Oh, we never noticed before. <laughs> so for my last week, um, I'll be honest, I was a little disappointed with my final number on the scale because it was not even close to the lightest that I have been during the challenge. So like a week ago, I was more than half a kilo lighter on the scales uh, but um, from unlike Ray I was taking progress photos every week uh, and from last week to this week even though my weight on the scales uh, like had very little change um, I had a load more definition which meant you know sometimes that metric of the weight on the scales isn't um, the best thing to be looking at to see if you're making progress because my body composition as a whole what has been coming in better and better uh, week after week like overall thrilled with the progress that we've made knowing that like really we were not in a great place when we started of course not the and pictures speak volumes yeah and well you were not in that bad a place <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I was the heaviest I've ever been in my life. <laughs> Unlike you, who've been there before. <laughs> that is correct. So, like, this was, it was quite a shock for me when I originally saw the weight on the scales, like, during quarantine. So it's nice now to be back at what is a much more comfortable body weight for me. I'm feeling much healthier and yeah. I think that's the biggest takeaway, right? As you mentioned that it's not about the weight on the scale. Um, I know a lot of people go by that. And I mean, weight on the scale is only gonna tell you obviously your weight, but that doesn't tell you how much muscle mass you've lost and how much fat you've lost and all that kind of stuff. So um, be wary of that fact. Now, something that I did just to test those factors as well was obviously my biceps. Like my, I hated the fact that I lost my biceps before the pandemic or before the lockdown or during the lockdown. And I took my bicep measurements again and I was back to like, not where I was, like I was a 17 and a half inch bicep, but now I'm at like a 16 and a half compared to before I was a 15 and a half. So that just tells me that I've done the right stuff. I've added some muscle to my body and the scale, to, you know, showed that as well. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind that, you know, it's not just the scale, like it's inches, it's how you look, your measurements around the parts that are gonna gain that muscle as well. The bicep is always a place which you store the least amount of body fat. So it's a good gauge of like how your muscle mass is going if you're um, in, into gymming and making a transformation. So final day results. I am super happy, of course. Uh, I was a little iffy when I was waking up. I did go out for a party the previous night. I did have a lot of fun. Um, again, I, I, but for me, transformations need to be fun and they shouldn't be as extreme and boring as this one. But, um, and you really need to enjoy the time that you, you know, it's there. So like I was eating out, I was, uh, I was going out with friends and uh, last night I was partying. But um, the final day results really spoke for themselves. Like maybe I could have been about half a kilo lighter if I wouldn't have gone out, but 
I think I'm super, super happy. I mean, the pictures speak volumes. I'm really happy that that stupid, those love handles have finally like disappeared because those are the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my life and I couldn't stand myself. So now that they've gone, I'm super, super happy. And uh, again, I'm very happy for her too. I mean, she does look great. <laughs> Final day results. Honestly, for me, it was always about uh, recomposition. So I wanted to make sure that I was able to build as much muscle mass as possible. Um, the big thing for me was like, I've always been super proud of like my arms and the definition that I've worked really hard for years to have. Um, and my before pictures, I was like, what happened to my arms? I have no muscles anymore. Um, so we spent a lot of effort and a lot of upper body training during this um, time. And then obviously with the injury to my ankle, I had to like, we like even more just like double down on trying to get the best composition possible with limitations to training. Uh, and so I'm really happy with sort of how my body's looking now. And I'm looking forward to seeing sort of how I can push this a little bit um, with a few more weeks. Um, I've agreed with Marlon that we're gonna like do a few more weeks and kind of see where we can get to because I've never done that ever before. Like right now I'm at my normal powerlifting competition weight. So I've never had to be leaner than this. So. I think you look like younger too. Like I'm looking at the, yeah. I looked at the pictures and I'm like, she, she looked younger well, at least by like five, six years. Yeah. Right. And what are you now? 45? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, say. she did, she, she did look younger. Like I was really impressed when I saw the pictures. I was like, that is, um, that is impressive as well. Like I'm not going to take anything away. Of course, there's a lot of banter and there's a lot of like, um, words flying around <laughs> um, but, got a but, we, but we, <laughs> he's getting really feisty but uh and i, I want to leave that for a different day but um i'm really really proud of the both of us who and we did it for us mm. uh, ourselves at the end of the day and you know when the lockdown ended to like where she is today it's a whole different shift and yeah, but you know what again we're coaches we've done this before like mm -hmm. we're you know this is this is not something super hard for us like, and we know this shit. Yeah, so I feel like that's a really important point to make because a lot of the messages that I've been receiving in the last 24 hours since we've posted our results um, are people going, oh my God, how do amazing. I do what you did? Um, and I think that's one of the things yeah. for us, um, we have the skill set and it wasn't that much of a, we knew what we had to do um, to get the change. Now. Um, people think, so one of the messages I got was, I train two hours a day, every day, and I don't get the results that you're getting. Firstly, you're training too much. Okay, don't get into that right now. <laughs> but I us. just want to say like, there is, this is why you need to go and find a coach yeah. um, who has the right information for you. Um, come to Shiro to get some programming um, because you like we've spent over a decade learning how to do this and it was just a matter of like step back into our old shoes and just do the work yeah um but you're not experts in the fitness industry so you're not expected to know all of these things um and they're habits that you need to build over time so that you can get the amazing transformation so definitely that is something that we were just discussing and the shiro life programming for women out there that this is definitely the right step for you to take of course you're getting all the experience of jess and and um from the past and right now as well but it's it's so progressive, it's easy to get into, and it's right, it's the right way to do stuff. So uh, definitely do get onto Shiro Life and check out the programming. If you have any questions, you can always message Jess and you can, or you can message me and I'll try to answer whatever questions you have. Let's, uh, let's move on to the next question. It's an, isn't it a no-brainer? Like, <laughs> the guy who lost double the inches that you did, lost double the weight that you there did. There was no way for me to lose what? those inches. There was physically I have, impossible. I have thoughts about that. 
It is not physically impossible. Where, to lose. where were the inches gonna go? There's a lot of fat in your legs. Oh, so no. There's a lot of muscle in my legs, buddy. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of muscle in my legs too, buddy. But if like, I... hey, you lose everywhere, right? But you need to see that muscle, right? I lost right? inches anyway. of my legs. <laughs> I can tell this you is us in our days. competitive state. But like, um, I think from 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 my perspective, and a lot of like senior coaches and educated people, I won. <laughs> Bullshit. No, it's the fact. And she has a lot of friends, so definitely the polls said she won. Well, I am not conceding this win. I don't agree with Trump on many things, but on this, <laughs> I will not concede. Okay, well, why don't we why don't we leave it to this? You know what? You are a big loser. You are a big loser. They both are big losers. They both will be doing the bodybuilding competition. What? No. no. You both will be doing the big bodybuilding show. No, we heard you first time. Yeah. Do you want to get beaten up? <laughs> So Rez just dropped that bomb on us. <sighs> I haven't done a show in what, 10 years, man? I have never done a show for two reasons. One, I hate being hungry. Two, I'm allergic to fake tan. And three, you'll never win. <laughs> <laughs> this is no longer about you and I. You're gonna be in your little tiny bikini bottoms on a platform with other men. It's not about you know me what? anymore. I was actually gonna wear it for yesterday's <laughs> pictures and I was like, you know what, forget it. I don't wanna scar the whole world. <laughs> like pictures in my in my posing trunks from like back in the day. I still have my number too. <laughs> like nice um, that would yeah, have been really tight on I guess, <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be interesting. Um, Rez just dropped that bomb and I guess it'll be interesting. Um, haven't done one in a long time. Obviously, I'm 10 years older, and uh, it's gonna be harder to lose and get to that level of body fat. Like, I'm already dreading this whole thing. Your dad's gonna be so upset. He's gonna be upset. He's not gonna be able to eat anything. Son is gonna be even more upset. <laughs> so I guess next steps are we're gonna figure out what date we want to do this show and what our game plan is for the next whatever how many ever months and when we want to do it um, of course I have a lot of things to work on I definitely want to get my legs back and my strength back um, and I'm sure you have some things that you want to work on um, and if we're gonna do a show then definitely after it's gonna be next year for sure I hope so. it's not gonna be now it's gonna be next year I'm gonna enjoy my Christmas um, and then probably starting next year January February I want to start like cutting back again mm -hmm. but yeah I'm excited. I'm sure you are. I don't know about excited, but we'll survive. We will survive. We will survive and I think we're going to do we'll great. we'll learn in the process. Uh, we're going to learn a lot in the process. A lot. Um, so stay tuned, guys, and thank you for following us this entire journey uh, in the last 12 weeks. We've, um, uh, we, pre we hope you appreciate the banter between the two of us as well. Um, we are always going to be the best of friends and uh, work husband and wife, so don't take us too seriously. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for new episodes coming up. We do have some really cool, fun stuff coming up now that we don't have to freaking diet. There's gonna be a lot of fun challenges coming up. So see you guys later. Stay strong and stay hungry.